Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out our merch store. We'll have a link in the description for that. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Today's August 12th, 2023. Um, it's pretty nice out. We have been getting some rain here recently, so that's been nice. Um, I think we've gotten inch and a half or so. Um, so that's been good. We are working on combining some of our oats today. You can see it's pretty cloudy behind me. So uh, there's kind of been some pop-up showers even today. One of the things we're doing different than we did with my folks oats is we're gonna straight cut these. I'll show you, we got straight cut head on the combine. Um, the reason I'm doing that normally around here, we swath everything that gives any of the weeds and stuff if they're in there a chance to dry out so they don't heat in the grain. Um, so it can lay in the windrow for a while and, and dry. Or this will be taking everything direct right into the machine. My oats, I, mine were sprayed when they were younger, so I don't think the weeds are gonna be too bad in there. But here's our straight cut head on there. We got that going, we haven't used it. We've only ever used this head one time and that was years ago. So uh, we'll see test my skills with running that but um so anyway two of the reasons i'm using the straight cut head versus swathing it one is because being such a dry year on this sandy ground a lot of my oats are so short that i was worried if i swathed them i wouldn't be able to pick them up with the pickup head that they would just fall through the teeth where this what this will do it's got a sickle down there it'll cut them off the reel will pull them right in they go directly into the machine um, another reason that I'm straight cutting them is because looking at the weather here now lately we've gotten some rain and it looks like these pop-up showers are gonna kind of be pretty regular forecasted throughout the week so this way when they dry out they get dry I can go I can combine shower pops up we can put everything away you don't have your windrows laying there getting wet because if they get wet then you got to try to dry them out and rake them and shake the oats loose. It's kind of a mess. So we're going to give it a whirl and see what happens.
days later, we're heading back up to finish the oats. Um, we've gotten a little bit of rain since last time, so I wasn't really able to combine. Um, we actually got some rain last night even, but it's nice and sunny and windy now, so I think that'll be dried out enough. The stuff that we put in the bin seems to be doing good. Uh, stuck my hand in the pile a few times. It's a little bit warm in there, but um, doesn't seem to be anything nearly enough to worry about. What I might do once we get the last of this in there is uh, old trick my grandpa had. Take like some dry like chunks of lath and stick in the pile, and that'll wick the moisture, help wick the moisture out of the pile. But uh, even if if I don't do that, I think it'll be okay. But just an extra precaution. We are going to run up and do the oats, and then I might move on to that rye, that winter rye that we planted last fall. Um, I didn't have any intention when I planted it on combining it. When it was time to cut for hay, it, it was really short, so I never cut it for hay, but then it, it kind of took off after that. It never got sprayed, so it's kind of weedy, but I'll make a little couple passes and see how it turns out. I thought about getting it clean for seed, but if it's going to be too weedy or not looking good, I might use it for feed, or we might just decide to just disc it back down and let it reseed itself that way. I'm not sure yet. We'll see what that looks like when we get into it with the combine. But anyway, we're going to head up and get these oats finished. by what the wagon holds um, I would say we got about 360 bushel of oats off of here 
Um, I'm guessing this field, the map shows it at a little over seven acres. Uh, there's a little bit of hilliness to it, so I'm guessing it's around between eight and nine acres, something like that. So for as dry of a year as it is, I'm very, very happy with that yield. I think though that using the straight cut head out here versus swathing it was the right call because I think if I would have swathed it, I don't think we would have been able to pick up nearly as much. So uh, I think that was definitely the thing to do there. But anyway, we're going to move on to the rye and see what that looks like. We'll open that up, see if it's worth tackling. It's pretty thin it's not I don't think it's worth even burning the fuel to go around there because a lot of places there isn't even anything but weed so I think this will probably just disc this back in um, then it'll kind of just reseed itself that way and we'll try try it again next year it's the first year I've ever really messed with rye so it's kind of new to me anyhow but a little bit we got in there is pretty weedy and they're pretty green yet so we'll just feed the chickens with that all right there's our pile of oats um all these are sticks i got sticking out those are all pieces of lath that we stuck into the pile um that's kind of what i was talking about what my uh grandpa was saying if you got if you're worried about them heating to do that and it's supposed to wick the moisture up out of the pile so we're going to give it a try i know in the middle um and obviously they didn't get all the way down to the bottom they weren't that long but I think they got down into the first pile there so and i'm also going to leave when the weather allows i'm going to leave the lid open leave the door open so we can get good airflow through to help take that moisture out as well so uh hopefully that works it's kind of a trial thing and like i said they don't seem to be heating so i don't think we'll have much of an issue but i guess time will tell